Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Um, I decided last minute that I was going to pick up the camera and kind of vlog a little bit this weekend only because I do have a long day today at the salon. I'm working normally up until 5 p.m. and then we're going to be doing a fashion show for charity for Make-A-Wish. So we have done this event in the past and it's so much fun and it's just so rewarding to do this for kids who are in need and who are sick and we just try to raise as much money for the kids. So I thought it'd be perfect just to kind of vlog a little bit today and as well as tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday and I'm actually going dress shopping for the first time with my mom, my sister, and Ryan's mom. And I thought I would vlog a little bit tomorrow just cause it is kind of exciting to go dress shopping for the first time. But I just arrived to work, it is 9 p.m. And I know we start on Saturdays at nine, but I have my first client at 9.30, so that's why I'm here at nine. And I did pick up some Starbucks. I have have the new um, chocolate almond milk um, shaken espresso it's really good the first time I had it I was like not a fan but then I got it again and I, and I was a fan <laughs> I also got the bacon and egg um, bites these things are so freaking good since I have a really long day today I'm like I need to fuel my body with food um, water I have my 64 ounce here <laughs> so yeah it's gonna be jam-packed weekend i know i didn't film yesterday but i just decided last minute today that i was gonna film today and tomorrow so yeah someone just passed by uh, my co-worker just passed by and she's new so she's probably like what the heck are you doing and someone else just passed by too okay <laughs> i think it's time to go <laughs> but before we jump right into this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you guys can see more videos like this in the future also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Ash Luna, so you guys can see a little bit more behind the scenes, a little bit more of my life. I'm going to be posting a lot of my stories today, so definitely give me a follow so you guys can keep up with me. <laughs> but we're just going to go into the salon and start setting up and see where the day takes us. home and I'm actually getting ready to start working the fashion show and as well as going to the fashion show I actually completely forgot to pick up the camera and keep filming after I did my niece's hair and I actually was supposed to have a balayage client right after and she ended up canceling it right before her appointment I mean it was a bummer because obviously that was supposed to take like three hours but ended up working out because I went to lunch with my sister my brother-in-law and my niece and my nephew and i wanted to film what we were eating and we were walking downtown as well hold on let me get hairspray literally almost out of my favorite hairspray this is the orbe strong i love this stuff i've talked about this a hundred times on my channel but it's literally almost out but maybe i should use ryan's hairspray yeah this is gonna work yeah, so we ended up walking around downtown looking for a place to eat lunch and we ended up going to like a Philly cheesesteak place and it was so good. Um, Ryan and I have been there before. It's really good and yeah, I completely forgot to pick up the camera and film because I wanted to vlog with my sister, my brother, my niece, my nephew, but I completely forgot, whatever. So I did go back to the salon around 2.30 and I just got my stuff and went back home. And it is now 3.51. So I do need to leave here at, I do need to leave here at four o'clock. No, no. I need to leave here at 4.30 because it takes about like 10 minutes to get to the salon. So yeah, I'm so excited because once I get to work, I'm going to ask my two of my best friends, Aubrey and Michelle, if they want to be my bridesmaid and <laughs> so cute. I already did their proposal boxes. It's all set and ready to go. So I'm gonna vlog that part so you guys can see the reaction. I'm so excited. I've been planning this for a month now. I have six bridesmaids. I did the first one last night to my friend Nikki. She was actually in my last vlog. She has shorter hair with blonde. That's Nikki. So I did her yesterday and it was so cute. So I'm gonna do Michelle and Aubrey today. I'm so excited to see the reaction. Oh. 
And then since tomorrow I'm going to our shopping with my sister and my mom and my future mother-in-law, I'm going to give the proposal box to my sister tomorrow. And she's going to be the maid of honor, so I'm excited to see her reaction too. It's going to be so cute. I'm just curling my hair with this three barrel. I got this from Amazon in case anyone is interested. I also have a full blown tutorial on how to use this, so I'll link that down there as well. And this is what I'm wearing today. It's just a crop top, a black crop top, because we have to wear all black when we work on the models. So I have shorts and then I also have like this like jersey type shirt that Michelle made us for everyone at the salon. It has our name and everything on it. But yeah, we're gonna be working from 5 p.m. till 8. And then the show starts at 9. So not sure what time it ends, but I'm not gonna be out all night. I'm gonna come home after the show is done because I have to be up early for tomorrow's festivities to try out some dresses. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so I'm just going to finish curling my hair and then I'll check in with you guys before I enter the salon because I'm gonna surprise Michelle and Eric, or I'm gonna surprise Michelle and Aubrey, so. And Ryan won't be coming to this event because it's a fashion show, it's a bunch of girls and he's not into that, so. And it's really expensive to get in. Um, it is for charity though. He's the latest generation of uh, a model that's been going for a long time. And the models are gonna be super easy. They're all gonna have curls and then makeup is gonna be super easy too. So, and I'll have one of my girlfriends take the camera and just kind of film while we're getting the models ready. So you guys can see a little behind the scenes of what we do, even though it's for charity, like we're not getting paid for this obviously, but it's for a good cause. It's for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So I'm excited.
I didn't see you there. Hey. Shut up. You're the one that told me to fucking put the camera on, bro. Bro. Nina. Like Nina. Nina. Like Nina. 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 Yo sé, marihuana bebida. Hey. I want Latin music. My finger. Slowing. Get a bailar. Get a bailar. Get a bailar. Luna. This is Heather. Hello. Like and subscribe if you don't. Like don't. You're so good. This is don't Ash. Like this is Sarah, Ash Luna. Hi, I'm Hi. Ash. Oh, thanks. Well, it has like curlers with straight bangs. Like, Luna girl. Looky bear. Looky bear. Luna girl. Luna. I brought her water bowl. Oh. Plenty of bowls. You're in charge, Ryan. Yeah. Blanket. Yeah. Is that a present? Oh. 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 Yeah, my friend said we'll save a lot of money. Yeah, mm -hmm. because the arch is just for a few minutes. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, you don't want to put a lot into it. Watch it. Watch or it. maybe you can find really nice makeup. I know. <laughs> yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. nobody's really going to go up there and touch it. Exactly. <laughs> or no one needs to know. No. Exactly, no one needs to know. <laughs> Use the right lane to merge onto I-4 East, then keep right to merge onto I-4 East. After that, Jay had the sun pass that his ran through. Oh, I'm sure I'll be getting a thing in the mail. Yeah. This one, yeah. The what? Yeah. Right. Your birthday! My birthday! Your birthday. Your birthday. That's, on that's a on a Sunday! That's on a Sunday! It's in Orlando. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. That's okay, I already know my vendors. <laughs> <laughs> I already know my vendors. Yeah. Yep. Nah, I'm all, all of me is yours, every part of me. Cause we're in this together now. You and me together now. What's the point of Aww. little girl? <laughs> oh, the back is nice. <gasps> wow, look at look at the the buttons in the middle. I know. <laughs> it's pretty. It yeah. Pretty. yeah. We get it in Florida because it's leaving tomorrow. <laughs> you have that is crazy. Cheers. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ready? One, it's going to be a video. Three. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Give me your 
Hey guys, so it is now Monday, the day after. Um, sorry, I sucked at vlogging yesterday. I was just so in the moment of dress shopping that I just kept forgetting to pick up my camera. And then after the dress shopping experience, we went to, well, after I bought my dress and I found the one, we went to brunch and I was just spending really good quality time with my sister, my mom, and my future mom-in-law. So I just completely forgot to pick up the camera and film. So sorry about that, but yesterday was such a perfect day. I could not imagine a more perfect day of finding the perfect dress for my wedding. It was everything I could imagine. It was so perfect. And it's such a crazy long story on how I ended up going to that bridal store because I didn't even have an appointment for that store. I originally had an appointment somewhere else, but when we got there, it was closed. And then when I checked my confirmation, <laughs> email i apparently put saturday and not sunday which they're not even open sundays so i couldn't even get in on a sunday anyways but i was so embarrassed i was like oh my god i freaking would do that and i immediately went on maps to see any bridal stores around that location that was open and that would take a last minute walk-in which was a last shot i mean i don't i got really lucky <laughs> Long story short, we ended up going to a bridal store like 15 minutes away from that location and one of my best friends, uh, Aubrey, my work wife that you guys have seen in my salon vlogs, she got her wedding dress at that place. Am I in focus? So yeah, my work wife, Aubrey, got her wedding dress there and as well as my other friend from work, Caroline, she got her dress there too. So I feel, so I felt like it was a good place to go, but I called them and I said, is there any way you guys have an opening like right now? I know it's like a last shot. And the owner of the store was like, if you come right now, yes, because our first appointment is at 2 p.m. It was at 11.30 that I called. So we rushed over there and it was such a perfect experience because we were the only ones there. We had the whole bridal store to ourselves, which for brides to have the entire store to themselves, they have to pay $300 to have like a private fitting or a private um, uh, dress shopping experience. So it was really nice that the owner let us have the entire store to ourselves. And so then the lady that was helping me, she was asking me all these questions. Literally like the show, say yes to the dress. So I did tell the lady what I wanted in a dress and she picked out some stuff and as well as me and as well as my mom's sister and future mother-in-law, they picked some things too. And it was the most perfect dress shopping experience I could ever imagine. Like literally like the show, say yes to the dress. The owner of the store, I don't think, I don't know if he's the owner, but he's like the head, the head guy there. He reminded me so much of the guy from Say Yes to the Dress. Like the way he talked and the way he just like handled things. He just reminded me so much of that guy. And then the girl obviously that was help, helping me try on the dresses, she was amazing too. And long story short, there was actually a trunk show going on and that was the last day that they were gonna have these dresses from New York. And the designer is called Maura Lee or something like that. And I picked out a couple dresses from that from that designer and then as well as the lady she picked out a couple and the ones that i ended up getting she had picked it out and it was hidden like in the back of the rack and she grabbed it because she did vision myself in that dress and she thought that i would like it and when i put it on oh my god i fell in love i love the front i love the back not only does the back look nice but also in the front because obviously i'm gonna be taking photos from the front as well and it just looks so good on and when i was standing there i was like wow i can really envision myself getting married in this dress and then all of a sudden they put the veil on me oh, oh my god i have to go soon oh my god i have to go oh. okay i literally have to 
I have an orange theory class uh, soon. I need to go right now. But long story short, I found the dress and it was meant to be because I was supposed to go to another bridal store. And the fact that the bridal store was closed and it wasn't my actual appointment, we ended up going to this place and it just worked out. And the fact that the designer, the trunk show, that was the last day and all those dresses were going back to New York, I would have missed out on all of that if I didn't miss my appointment or if I actually went to the other bridal store. So it was just a crazy experience and it was so emotional. I cried when they put the veil on me and I just like looked like a bride. Like I felt beautiful. I can envision myself walking down the aisle with that dress. I can envision Ryan crying, hopefully, <laughs> me wearing that dress. And also my mom cried, my sister cried, and my future mom-in-law cried. So it was like literally the one. Um, so I said yes to the dress and um, we popped a bottle of champagne. We had fun, I bought the dress and then we went to brunch after. So that's a little update on how my dress shopping experience went. Then also on Saturday, the fashion show turned out amazing. I tried to do a little recap last night, but then my camera died. So, um, but yeah, it turned out amazing and I had so much fun and yeah, it was a great turnout. We raised, I think $40,000, which granted four kids wishes, which is the ultimate goal. I mean, that passed their goal, which was amazing. <laughs> So overall, I had a really good weekend, and, and sorry if I didn't vlog everything. I tried. I tried to vlog as much as I could, but obviously, I get in the moment, and then I just forget to pick up the camera. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.